Are you ready to meditate with Kari? Are you ready to close your eyes and listen really, really closely? Try and relax your body and stay still the whole time. Are you ready? There once was a baby polar bear. Her name was Snowball. She was very, very cute. She was white and fluffy and had a little pink nose. She was one of the cutest polar bears I had ever, ever seen. Snowball, unfortunately, had a very bad day. And this story is all about her very bad day. Snowball was out following her mom with her brothers and sisters, just like they normally do, looking for food. She was trekking across the snow, doing her thing, being very happy, running and playing and pouring at her mom whenever she wanted to and just being a mischievous self. She was very happy. They were in the middle of the Antarctic and there was snow everywhere. Snow to the left, snow to the right, snow in front, snow behind, snow everywhere. And that was just perfect for polar bears because, as you probably know, the fur is white, but it's not actually white. It's transparent. That means it's see-through and it looks white because of all of the snow all around them. So they blend in perfectly. Their mom was hunting for food. They'd not eaten for six days. Well, mom had not eaten for six days. The cubs were eating milk from her. But she could go as long as six days without food. She would slow down her metabolism, slowing down her tummy, and then she would be able to survive because lots and lots of times when polar bears try to hunt, they're not very successful. In fact, it's one out of a hundred times. That's quite bad for a polar bear. Poor polar bears go hungry all the time, I bet. Snowball was following mum. When they found themselves in the middle of the water on an ice cap and it was moving forward and everything was fine until somehow the ice cap cracked. And before Snowball could gather her thoughts or know exactly what was going on, the ice cap separated from his, her mum and the rest of her family. So they were on a different ice cap to Snowball. She didn't have time to swim and she found herself separated from her family. It seemed like in no time at all, Snowball was drifting off in a different direction and mom and family were going in a different direction. Mom's last words were, don't panic, 
You know what to do when you're lost. We'll find each other again. Don't worry. Don't worry, Snowball. Now I'm sure, like lots of you, I've talked about with your parents, if you ever get lost, what do you do? There's things that we can do when we get lost, isn't there? If we get lost in a store, we can go and tell someone that works there that we're lost and ask them to make an announcement so that they can find your mom and dad. Or if we get lost in the streets, sometimes we arrange with our parents a place where we can meet like if you go on a day trip, everybody says, okay, if anybody gets lost, come straight back here. So you have a meeting point. So there's always a safe if you get lost. Snowball had a safe. She knew that if she got lost, that mum would sniff her out and find her. But still, she was very, very frightened. And she felt alone and very lost, but only for a short period of time. The ice cap joined up with land and Snowball got off to find herself surrounded by a family of wolves. Lots and lots of wolves, a pack of wolves to be exact. She was greeted with, hello, what are you doing out here all on your own? You're not lost by any chance, are you? Said the most beautiful white wolf you would ever see and she had one green eye and one blue eye. Her name was Louise. She was looking after the rest of the pack. Her voice was very soothing and calming and she felt very loving just from the way that she talked. Snowball felt safe. Would you like to come and stay with us until your mom finds you? You can come and play with the small wolves if you want to. They're having lots of fun right now, said Louise. Snowball nodded her little head and she found herself being ushered over to a group of small young wolves. My name's Bee said one of the wolves. Pleased to meet you. My name's Coco, said another wolf. Pleased to meet you. And my name's Snowflake. Oh, <gasps> said Snowball. My name's Snowball. Your name's Snowflake and my name's Snowball. That's cool. Snowball played with the three wolves for most of the day. Sometimes she would stop and have panic feelings in her tummy and feel like she was never going to be found or she would never see her mom and, and her family again and she would panic a little bit but then she would take a breath and she would trust that mommy would smell her out and find her. She just had to wait. She played and played and played until she was very tired. She ate food with the pack of wolves and they were all very kind to her and very sweet. And they all loved each other a lot and they were very protective of each other. Wolves take care of their own. But in this case, they were also taking care of Snowball. 
nighttime came, and Snowball heard a familiar crunch in the ground. Crunch after crunch, big, strong paws crunching into the snow. She sniffed with a little nose and smelt a familiar smell, and a big smile came on her face. A big smile. She jumped up and ran in the direction of the smell and the sound of her mum and her brothers and sisters coming back to collect her. They hugged and hugged and hugged and Snowball felt very lucky to be back with her family. Now, everyone was sleepy and tired. It'd been a very long day, a stressful day for Mum Polar Bear because she was sniffing out Snowball all day long. And now she was tired. She could finally rest. Now she found her baby, a little cub Snowball. The wolves were tired. They'd been hunting and walking. And the baby wolves had been playing all day with Snowball. And they were tired too. It's time for sleep for everyone. Everyone got settled down. Snowball snuggled in to her mom and her warm fur. closed her eyes and started to drift off to sleep. Time for you to close your eyes and start to drift off to sleep. Let your body start to relax and let go. Imagine that you're laying under the stars in a big, big sky full of twinkling stars all around, just like Snowball. And the wolves, bee, Coco and Snowflake. The moon is big and bright. And everything is quiet and peaceful. All you can hear is the melting of the snow and the breathing of the animals. It's very calming and quiet and still. You can imagine that you've been saved by a pack of wolves and they're all taking very good care of you, just like Snowball. And Louise is loving on you and making sure that you're safe and fed, making sure you have friends to play with.
Let your body get sleepier and sleepier. Your head is heavy. Your shoulders relax. Your tummy, ribs, heart, and lungs all relax. Your legs very. You're snuggled deep into your covers, all nice and warm, just like Snowflake snuggling deep into her mum. can imagine that you're starting to float up into the sky, up into the stars. You're so, so relaxed and comfortable and sleepy, floating all around the stars. <laughs> 